Hey Kai Fies, it's Scott Batten here and the house that you're looking at right now is 707 West 28th Street. Uh, if you were in the house when I was in the house, that was the ATO house still owned by ATO. Uh, and this is going to be for starting in the uh, fall semester of 2019, the uh, USC Kai Fi house, the Ada Delta chapter. And uh, just to give you a little bit of perspective on where that house is located in case you don't remember. But um, there was what was the Fiji house when I was in the house, and then that uh, basketball court, the basket back of the basketball court there is 720 West 28th Street. So it's right across the street and to the right of the old Kai-Fi house. And uh, the reason I'm showing this to you is because in just a moment, we're gonna do a little bit of a house tour. Now, you'll notice that the Kai-Fi letters are not up yet, but they're going to be. They're still over at 2715 Portland Street, which is where Kai-Fi has been for the last couple of years, Ada Delta chapter. And um, right now, we're just going to take a, a quick little house tour and see what this house looks like in case you've never been inside. And uh, there's a little bit of construction going on, so it's not quite, it's not looking like what it's going to look like. We're just gonna kind of knock, here we go. See if anybody's home. Uh, but uh, it's going to be by the time school starts, it's going to be all fixed up. Hey guys. What's up, Scott? How you What's doing? Up, everybody, brothers. This is our front patio area. So basically, we'll just be putting tables, chairs out here just kind of to, you know, kick back, relax. We also have the bike rack. Um, and then I think we'll paint over this and just put Kai Fi. And then if you look over. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a blank area over there where we'll hang our letters. Are you able to see that? Yep, yep. I, I, uh, we, we saw that uh, from across the street. Okay. Right. And uh, just so you know, everybody, this is Tommy Columbus. He is currently the alpha of the Ada Delta chapter of Kai Fi, and that is Jake Pike, who was the alpha uh, just prior to Tommy being, or yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Just prior yeah. to yeah. Tommy being the alpha. Yeah. Here we are in the, uh, the front of the house. So over here to the left, is going to be all of our common areas and over here to the right is going to be all the rooms and that door is going to lead into the rooms. Well, we'll start off over here. So in here is going to be our living room slash alumni room. Over there we're going to put up a TV and put all of our trophies in there, um, plaques and everything. I'm thinking right here we put the chiquette that you know commemorates everybody um, and then or perhaps over there over the mantle but this is a fully functioning fireplace uh, we have an ATM machine over there that we might get back online uh, in here is one of our spare rooms uh, this can be converted into a bedroom or as a library the former fraternity that was here used it as a library um, yeah Pretty, pretty good room, about 165 square foot, uh, with about uh, nine foot ceilings. In between these two doors is the chapter room slash dining room, but it's currently under construction, so we might have to take a peek at that when they stop working, but let's go show them the rest of the stuff. One of the best parts about this house is all the outdoor space it has. This entire area right here, if we're coming out here, this is all a courtyard right now. A lot of it is really under construction, and the, pe the people are working you know, day and night to really get it uh, in shape, because uh, there was a lot of damage, but as you can see, it's being taken care of right now. Um, so let's keep going. So let's see, actually, you know what, let's see if we can peek in here real quick. This is gonna be the chapter room, um, slash dining room area. Might not be good, but maybe just- Let's take a quick little gander. Kind of right Whoa, that's very dusty. Hey guys, how you doing? We'll get a better shot of that later on once it's all fixed up. Right here's our kitchen. Going into the kitchen now. The chap room connects to the kitchen through this door. It's all one big hallway, but come on in here, I'll show you guys the kitchen. It's uh, insanely massive. Um, there's actually a chef's quarters off the back, but appliances, top of the line wolf appliances, hood, we got an ice machine, we got an industrial dishwashing machine, um, and then back here, we got 
the uh, commercial grade uh, refrigerators, huge pantry area, and then the commercial grade sub-zero uh, freezers. Um, like I was saying back here, there's a, actually like a full bathroom, toilet, sink, shower uh, for the chef. So in between shifts, you can uh, rinse off, rinse everything. off, and clean up before you go to home. And the other nice thing about the kitchen too is that it's uh, two huge deadbolt locks, so that uh, no one can like go in there. Um, and bother the chef, and this is all hot tray serving, so. And then this comes down or up, depending on if the food's out. So he'll just send everyone a text message when the food's out, put it all on the hot trays, and then we just come down like a buffet line and get what we want, which is pretty awesome. This room is gonna be the gym area. We already have mats laid down. Uh, she's gonna hang up the mirrors and actually put the free weights in here. Uh, our plan for this is going to have like a power rack, uh, the dumbbells, and then I'm thinking right over here we'll put an Olympic platform uh, so we can do power cleaning smashes, cleaning jerks, the whole bit. This is a storage room. We'll store all of our ritual equipment in here. And it's we've got a code lock on it. You can yeah. see right here on that. So it's pretty secure. Code lock. So in here, we're actually lucky we don't have coin laundry anymore that we had on Portland Street. We have two washers and two dryers. Um, these are going to be um, just, just for everybody to use for free. And then here's just a storage closet of lighting and things for social events. Uh, granite countertops, as you can see, it's pretty nice. Uh, let's see if, we can, see if we can come back out this way, actually. Yeah, we can. All right, let's come back out this way. Okay. This is just kind of the side yard. And what's cool about this little spot right here is the switch. Well, actually, if you come out a little bit more, yeah. you can see our full-size court basketball. Um, and we have four of these really, really blur bright lights to illuminate the court. So 24 seven, we can play basketball. And this switch is just up there. Um, Right here, as you can see, it still says Sigma Alpha Mu in the middle of the court. It will say Kai-Fi in the middle and maybe put a chiquette um, where it has your letters. We also have this football, uh, little football thing. Uh, I guess if you want to kick field goals or whatnot. These fences are, I want to, how tall do you think those are? Uh, 12 feet probably. Yeah, maybe about 12, 15 feet and then they're spiked on the top. So it's completely secured. And then, as you can see, it's just got all this, you know, uh, plants on the side. And we have privacy screens going around all of them. Yeah, That's going to be fixed screens. before we move in officially. So whatever we do back here stays private, which is very nice. So transitioning back. So our parking lot is actually in the alleyway. And we have tremendous amounts of space. About 25 spots in total. Yeah, and some of them can be tandem. Uh, as you can see, we have my truck already here. All the way to the yellow house is parking. So these are single spots, and from this gray car all the way to that house is another like 15 tandem spots. So. All concrete area up until here is all our property. So this is the property line. Um, and yeah, so this is all for parking. So here's one of the units. The great thing about these is they all come with these cabinet slash, um, these cabinet style closets, I guess what you call it. Uh, these rooms are about 170 square feet with about eight and a half tall ceilings. Um, ceiling fan, and this actually is the AC. They're, they're currently servicing it, so it'll be good to go uh, for us when we move in. All the rooms in both downstairs and upstairs are the exact same size, so. Yeah, so let's go down the hallway a little bit. As you can see, it's, it is still under construction, but some of the rooms have already been finished. 
So coming in here to the left, we have our, one of our communal bathrooms. So the communal bathrooms are three sinks, one urinal, two stalls, and four showers. And the showers have recently been redone, so it's it used to be a prison style shower, but they've since made it a lot nicer. And as you can see, granite countertops as well. So this is perhaps one of our biggest composite cases. So once we have about 140 guys, which we should, uh, we'll be up there, put our big composite up there. And then this cork board we can use for announcements and whatnot. But coming into here, we have our mail sorting, everything, the staircase. some rooms that are different though, which we're going to go down right here into room, room 22 is actually kind of special. This one's perfect for a double in that it has these built-in lofted bed frames that are good for a full size or twin. Uh, and you can just put them up here, you and your roommate, and then you have all this extra space for desks and whatnot, whatever you want to put there. But let's actually go back down to what I think is the best part of this house. As you can see, these walls are kind of scuffed up, but these are all gonna be redone by the time we move in. So it's gonna look absolutely insane. Out here is my favorite part. This is the deck area. Uh, this, this is probably five to seven times bigger than our upstairs patio we had on Portland Street. And actually, if you look over here, we have this really interesting built-in outdoor bar gym for monkey bars or bar dips, pull-ups, chin-ups, whatever you want to do, you can get your workout in on over there. And then we have, as you can see on this upstairs patio area, it's just all of you of the row. You see all the way to BKC, Campus. There we go. Coming back this way, we have a view of the courtyard, a little cable area, and a gazebo area. And what's great is from right here, if you're looking straight out, you can kind of see the LA skyline. If you're a little bit further this way, you can see the spire. And then right here, we have our flagpole. I'm going to be taking personal responsibility to take that down because the Sammy's left this tattered flag and I think it looks awful. So putting a new flag that's real and potentially a Kai Fi flag up as well would be super cool. We also have this gazebo that was left for us. This was put in by the Sammy's and ATO, the people we're leasing from, actually bought it directly from them because it was such a good addition to the house. So this is gonna be probably where we'll be hanging out, maybe doing some you know, mixer up here with the alumni type thing. So let's go down right here. We have a stair area, so there's more. Also, also Tommy, I just wanna point out that, uh, and I, I've, I've shown this to you already, but there is, you can see there's 720 right there, the Lambda Chi Alpha house now. That is 720, so, uh, so that you have a little bit of geography into where we are at the moment. Okay, back right. to you, Tommy. All right, so we're gonna go down the stairs. Really cool thing about this house is there's multiple ways to get in and out of different areas. So you can access this deck from the courtyard or from the house. So going down these stairs, these are also gonna be redone and they're gonna put texturing, as you can see, uh, it's kind of worn down. So the texturing is gonna be re put back. And then coming back this way, we have two rooms. This is my room, which we can't show just yet. I'm still working in there. Um, and we have two half baths that were recent additions to the house. 
These look pretty nice, nice sinks. Um, still kind of need to clean up some trash that was left there. Um, yeah, so that's that. We have these two rooms. We have these two half baths. We have the courtyard. We showed you guys the upstairs deck. We showed you guys the outdoors basketball court. And we have the door. So I think this pretty much concludes our tour. Uh, I showed you guys everything. You guys don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much. Of course. All right, well, take all right. care now. All right, bye-bye.